Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, let me just, just grab this. Today's BoxyCharm day. I just adore these unboxings. I get so, so, so excited when these arrive. I track them and like check when they're gonna get here. I don't know what it is about receiving like mystery products. I just think it's super, super fun. So we're gonna open this together this time. Last time we tried something a little bit different, but I think that the first way that we tried it was more fun. I'm a little bit of a snooper. I'm kind of a surprise spoiler. I'm not very good with surprises to be honest. So I do kind of have an idea of what's gonna be in here but with that being said that's why I don't have any bronzer or blush on or highlights and it feels so weird <laughs> I feel like my face is missing so much like I'm really hoping that this product that I'm thinking is gonna be in there is in there there's one super special product in particular that I'm just like really crossing my fingers that I hope we get today and that is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. You guys, that is seriously one of the best masks I have ever tried, besides the Sephora Freezing Mask. I think a lot of you know how much I rave and love that one. I talk about that pretty frequently. But the Sephora Sleeping Mask I tried sometime last year. I got a free sample of the watermelon and the avocado. The avocado I didn't care for, but my skin loved the watermelon. It was always so glowy and so clear the next morning. I just really loved it and just like fresh feeling. It's wonderful. So I'm really hoping that's in here. From my research I wasn't supposed to do, I know that it's a variety of products that we could get so it's not guaranteed. Let's just open this up and see. Let me go get scissors. All right, I got my scissors. If you haven't heard of BoxyCharm, it's a monthly subscription box. So it's $25 a month and you get four to five full size products, I think. It's so much fun. I just love the surprise of it. It's just, it's fun. If you're a big planner, then something like this is especially fun because it's kind of just nice to have a little bit of spontaneity. I will have a link down below if you'd like to try out BoxyCharm. This one definitely is the most worth it, I feel like. The link down below is an affiliate link, so I would benefit from that. So just so you know, if you don't want to use my link, I still really recommend it. So let's open this. It says breaking the, oh wait, this says what all the products are. Well, right off the bat, I saw this one. It's kind of hard not to see this. I liked the Sephora Play subscription where everything came in a little bag. So it kind of was a little bit more of a surprise. I did see a spoiler on this. It's the Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighter. Let's just open this and see what it even looks like. Oh, I think it opens like this. Oh, there's tape. <laughs> this is called Fancy Pink Diamond. Oh, ooh, my sister's gonna love the name of that one. Stop it. You guys, this is the cutest packaging. I love that you just kind of like open it. Oh, this is so cute. How do you open this one? Do you just push it or? Oh, you probably just. <laughs> no, you just lift. Ooh, that's pretty. How reflective is it in the. Ooh. Is my finger crooked? I think my middle finger is crooked. I never noticed that before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm not the biggest into highlighters? I was more curious about my finger being crooked than the highlighter. But I have been getting into them more lately. So this is super pretty. I am excited about it. It's just not my most favorite thing in the world, but this is seriously super fun. And Too Faced is very expensive. We'll just have to look at the prices later, or actually I'll just insert the prices as we go, so that way we don't spoil it by looking at like the sneak peeks. But let's put this on. I do have a pimple, so I need to be kind of careful where I place it. A little more subtle than I thought. I feel like that's super subtle. Is it just me? Do I need to like push harder? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty. It's not super popping, but I really, really love kind of the pink hue that it's giving off. I like that. I like that. And I like that it has the pink. This is going to go super pretty on top of blush. Just look at the packaging. Just look at it. It says, it's your time to shine. Adorable. I love that. But what do we have next? Oh, this is a product that I picked, which I don't know why. I have so many eye creams. I have three eye creams right now. And like, you do not need that many. I alternate them. I don't know why I alternate them. I guess I do kind of tell that some of them do different things. But this was the more expensive product out of the three options. And I just didn't feel like I really wanted another eyeshadow palette. This is the Dr. Brandt. 
24-7 retinol eye cream. I am very curious about retinol as well. I don't really know too much about it. I need to research more about retinol, but I'm really excited to try this out. What else do we have in here? What is this? Power up dual phase setting mist. Oh, I like this. What was that? <laughs> it helps to set makeup, energize, and revive skin. Filters away dull, tired, and stressed out complexion. Bomb diggity. We haven't put on our setting powder yet, or setting spray yet, so sweet. We will try this today. It looks like there's some oils in there, so I think you want to shake it up beforehand. Cool. I'm actually really, really intrigued by this. Yeah, I don't really know how to say this, so if you guys know how to pronounce this, let me know. But it has aloe, ooh, witch hazel, electrolytes, and it does say to shake the bottle. My skin, even though it's super oily, I've actually found that throughout the day, if I spray it with a more moisturizing spray, like the Morphe Setting Mist, which is very moisturizing, or actually this one, which is even more so moisturizing in my opinion. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Chamomile. Oh, I think this is in the wrong bottle because it doesn't have the lavender in. <laughs> this is the green one anyways. So yes, I love the purple one that is the lavender. The rose is especially wonderful, but the aloe I have found to be the best for my skin. This like zaps away any dryness. So I'll spray this on like quite heavily later on in the day if I notice my makeup's getting too oily or breaking up or just like looking not how I want it to. Then I'll spray this everywhere and then I'll actually take my sponge and I'll go in and just like pat my face to really help it soak up the moisture. And then I will usually put on a little bit of powder on top, but not a lot. And then it's like revived. I hope that this does something similar to what this one does. I'm thrown off by this because I didn't see this product in any of the spoilers. So that's kind of fun. Oh, what is this? I think this is a lipstick. This is from Wander Beauty, which I'm guessing since we got this, we probably didn't get the blush bronzer duo, which I'm kind of bummed about. I was really excited to get that. A lot of people received that, so I guess I kind of figured that that was like the majority. But I do want to try this on, so I'm just gonna kind of pat off. Oops, made a little bit of a mess there. All right, let's just try on a little bit of this. This looks like a really, really beautiful color. It's kind of almost, well, no, it's darker than the color that I was wearing. It smells good. Oh yeah, this is a lot darker than I was wearing. This would be a really pretty blush. That color is super, super pretty. Oh. This is so cute. I love, can't even say it. I'm like, this is so sweet. The name of this product is Faith. That's actually my middle name. That's like especially really cool because I think faith is so, so important. I am a Christian, so I have a lot of faith in God. I put a lot of faith into starting my YouTube channel and honestly, just every single day. So this is like, that's cool. I really, really love the name. How many things have we gotten so far? One, two, three, four. So I think we only have one left already. Oh wow, that dried down. Holy smokes, this dried down so fast. Stop it. This is the Skin and, and Co. Truffle Therapy Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gommage. Gommage? Oh, it's made in Italy. That's cool. <laughs> it has black truffle extract. It's just anti-aging, it, it says, and it's an antioxidant. Protects against free radical damage. That's definitely really good if you expose yourself to UV lights a lot. Apricot seeds, sweet almond extract, squalene from Italian olive oil. <laughs> what? That says it's supposed to be moisturizing. Apply this over the face and neck. Gently massage with circular mo movements for one or two minutes. I wonder how much this is. We can spoil ourselves with the prices now because this is the last thing. So it's only $28. Dang, I thought it would be a lot more expensive than that. I'm not super into this product. And the reason is I've been trying to limit the amount of skincare that I've been using and follow a more strict regimen, I guess, if you will. I've been really trying to kind of understand my skin and use the right products that are gonna help me clear up the most. So it's worrisome to me to try out something completely different and random. I do really like exfoliators. I do already have a couple, so I don't super need this product, but I'm still really excited to try it out. Let's just see how it feels on the back of the hand. Holy moly, that feels super scrubby. Whoa, it smells so good. It smells like rose petals. You know how sometimes you have that like earthy kind of a floral scent? That's what it smells like. My hand feels super soft after that. Maybe I'll use it on my hands if my face doesn't like it. 
Does that, is that weird? I don't think so. Might as well use it. That went by so fast. Oh no, we need to try this, don't we? Okay, let's do this right now. Hold on. I need to put on some bronzer and blush really quick and then we'll try this. I just got so concerned, you guys, because my husband got home and <laughs> he got a new cool tool in the mail. I just heard him in the other room. He's all excited about it. He got home and I got distracted and so I was so worried that I had just done a whole thing and forgotten to film it. But we are just finishing up contouring our nose, my nose, <laughs> and then we're going to try out that setting mist. All right, so let's dip into this. Ooh, no, let's get our fan ready first. I like to use actually a hair dryer to just kind of like dry everything super fast and then melt it into the skin with the heat, but we're not gonna do that today. Let me just move my hair out of the way and take out my earrings. The mist on this is so nice. Wow. It's kind of squirting in a couple places. <laughs> it reminds me of when I was in Vegas. It was so hot, but you could go to these restaurants where you could just sit and there's this really light mist that's right above you. And it's not like it's like making you drenched or anything. It just feels so nice and refreshing. Oh, it's called In Beauty. Wow, I really, really like this. I'm gonna press that into my skin with my beauty blender, the setting mist while it's still just a little bit damp. And then I'm going to take my secret weapon powder. I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about this too much on my channel. It has been something that has been a game changer ever since I got it. I saw it in my sister's bathroom when I went over to her house one time and it mattified and removed oils. It was just like the most magical thing. And seriously, like if you're trying to shrink your pores, this will do it. This is what I use to seal in my makeup and my skin has never held up better than it does when I do like this. See, I think I wanna just put on a little bit more bronzer. Notice sometimes like after you finish up with like the setting mist and stuff, your bronzer and your blush somehow kind of just disappears a little bit. So I like to apply just a little bit more. Not gonna put on any more highlighter. Maybe a little bit. Let's do some down the center. Wow, okay, super excited to try this out. I have heard such good things about Dr. Brandt. Tried a couple of his products, or whoever Dr. Brandt is. Tried a couple of their products and I really enjoyed them, so I'm super excited to try this out. Love this. This is a bee's knees, like absolutely love this so far. I hope that this helps my makeup to stay too, cause that would be like super bonus. This is gorgeous. Oh, this isn't Wonder Beauty. What was I thinking? I thought this was Wonder Beauty for some reason. This is the Mana Kadar Simply Beauty Simplified. Props to Mana Kadar for making a bomb diggity lipstick. I might try this just on my hands tonight just to see how it feels. Where I put it on right here, it kind of actually feels really moisturized. That's super, super nice. So I am really digging this. I love BoxyCharm. This wasn't like my favorite box that we've received. I'm still so disappointed. Like the two items that I was really excited to get, I didn't end up getting, but that's okay. That's part of the mystery and part of the excitement. Plus there's only $25 for all of this. And this alone, they said this was 55. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Leave a comment down below if you've heard of any of these products or if you've tried them out. I would love to have your insight on what you think especially this like is this as translucent as it is on me or on you as it is on me please tell me i do think it's still very very beautiful absolutely gorgeous highlighter just a little bit more on the subtle side all right you guys i hope you have a wonderful day i hope to see you in the next video i'll be here Ugh, my hair is tight <laughs> my lipstick i'll be here every monday wednesday friday so i hope to see you back again very soon bye guys Mwah.